undoubtedly the best kept secret at a festival that I've ever been to was the fact that this band were performing at Glastonbury on the John Peel stage. How was it for you? It was a ruckus. It was good. A ruckus. Yeah. Brandon? We have good memories of that tent. So it was not it was not it was a little bit nostalgic, but it also felt fresh. I I feel I feel good about it. Tell us about your memories. Uh, well, we, we, the first time we played there was about 13 years ago, and we, uh, some kind of switch had been flipped that we weren't aware of, and when we came out, it, the crowd was different, and it's never been the same, you know, it's just, it's always been that way since. Before then, we had to, we were earning it, we were earning it, and earning it, earning it, and now we're just spoiled, I guess. In 2007, you actually said it would be the last time that you'd ever come to Glastonbury. I did not say yes, that. Yes, you did. I, might I read have the said quotes. <laughs> Strong words. We had issues with the sound or something. Mm -hmm. It wasn't our fault. So you so you chose that place because we'll, be, we'll be back memories. next year. Okay, <laughs> headlining or I don't know. <laughs> Playing the tent again. How does it feel to be the band back together again? Because last time I saw you it was the solo work stuff. Yeah, yeah. And no, now it's good. all together. Feels good. Feels good. Riding a bike. Riding a bike. It yeah. just feels kind of natural and. and it's, yeah. natural. it's as natural to us as slot machines in the laundromat. That's not, if that makes any sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Have you ever done a festival and gone out in disguise? Because it's quite difficult to get around. I've seen um, people that wear the bucket hats and the whole and the whole thing. You're not. You weren't Lord Bucket head. I were you? I, no. No. Okay. No. I think I just go for it. I, I'm not, I don't mind taking a couple hundred selfies. <laughs> in fact, it's probably the thing that makes you the happiest in the world. Yeah. <laughs> we don't mind it. Do you remember? <laughs> you used to talk a lot. You know. You've He's tired. I'm tired. Oh, I'm so on did it take you out of you? sleep. Okay, sum up for me then what it was like this performance today. Uh, well, I will. Say, well, it was, it was daunting to walk out to, the, to what we walked out to. It was a, it, it was an impressive thing, and it felt great. And I, we've played Mr. Brightside uh, probably fifteen hundred times, you know, live. And I think that was the craziest it's ever been. It was so. I mean, it's pretty. It's a must have been emotional. Yeah, it was a emotional. Thing that happens when you walk out on a stage like that, where it, you, you're not even contr in control of your own body. You feel yourself hitting things, but you're not sure if you're the one doing it. It was that kind of experience. Yeah. Well done on keeping it a secret. That was quite. It, something. I don't think it was a secret. It was kind was, of a was secret. It a secret? <laughs>